I have started the live. My name is Miss Molly. I'm an intuitive psychic medium. This is for entertainment purposes only. I'm supposed to say that. If you're just tuning in, I do everything. Mediumship, cards, fine last items, remote viewing, automatic drawing, automatic writing. Where is everybody? Thursday night. Nobody's on. Hi, Tosha. Tasha, Tosha, Mary, user 301785451280. Hey, user, why don't you get a name? <laughs> that would drive me crazy if I didn't have a screen name. I don't understand that. But I know sometimes when you're new, you're still figuring it all out. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Kim C. Duck and Jamie. Welcome in. Hello, Karma. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome into my my uh, metaphysical mayhem so let's just give people a few minutes to come in and say hi i'm miss molly by the way i am an intuitive psychic medium and i think tonight i think we're going to do some mediumship and also some stories so we'll go back and forth between the two so whatever comes up first i guess naturally hi julia hi megan hi amanda nana tammy frankie hi Nishi and Nana, Dawn, hello. Thanks for following me, Nana. Hi, Megan. Is it Megan or Megan? With an eh. Mystic Mariner Medium, that is me. Yes. Bringing new dimensions to sailing. That's what I always say. <laughs> Get it? Sorry, my hair is crazy. I didn't do anything but wash it today. You said it right the first time. Megan? Megan. Right? Or Megan? Megan? Megan. Megan. It's pretty. Chris Sippy, what a cute name. Okay, so we got 43 people in here, so let me start over again. My name is Miss Molly. I'm an intuitive psychic medium. Thank you, Sasori. I do all sorts of things on here. Hey, Kay. Um, everything from musical mediumship to Foley, which is finder of lost items, helping people find things that they lost. Just Chris. I'll call you Chris. And uh, tonight, we're kind of going to go with the flow. I do have my cards out. I also do... Uh, Automatic drawing, automatic writing, musical mediumship. I'm trying to think what else I know how to do. Um, I have a lot of good paranormal stories. I also am a paranormal investigator, although I haven't done a ton of paranormal investigating. I've had a lot of paranormal experiences, personal ones. I'll tell you those stories too. You're refreshing. I'm picky of a lot of charlatans on TikTok. Me too. There are too many of them, Carol. Too many. Annoying as hell to me. And I especially hate when the charlatans pretend to be me. So now that you brought that up, I'm going to say to you guys, um, do not ever accept a friend request or anything else from me asking for money or anything else because it is not me. The best way to know if it's really me is I have almost 30,000 followers. So if somebody starts acting like they're me, oh, I felt a special pull or you were in my live tonight or whatever... Look at their profile before you accept anything from them because the likelihood is it is not me. I have a website, MissMollyKnows.com. Just want to preface with that whole thing. And with that being said, let's get started. So um, are anybody in here, any of my subscribers showing up tonight? Paranormal. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. I like paranormal stuff. I had to put them in the fool archetype category so I'm not so annoyed. No, I know, girl. Simpler Time says I blocked them all. Yes. Hi, Jackie. How are you? So Jackie's here. She's one of my subscribers. So Jackie, you get first dibs on whatever I do tonight. Now, you guys, subscribing is $6. I charge $111 for my cheapest reading normally. So if you are interested in having anything to do with me tonight, the easiest way to get my attention is if you're a subscriber. Just saying. You don't have to, but... Um, to me, you're getting a smoking deal. So, Jackie, why don't I pull a few cards for you tonight since you are here and you're a subscriber. I'm going to go ahead and pull uh, just from my plain old tarot deck tonight just to give you a little something-something. Just to thank you. I'm about three cards. Just give them a quick shuffle. And then I'm going to do some mediumship. But what I'm going to do this time is... I'm going to just randomly pick somebody. Now, again, if you're a subscriber, you might notice that more. She says, I need help finding something. My dad unburied money hours before he died, and we can't find it. Okay, would you rather I get that than cards for you? That's perfectly okay. Make sure you remember answering with a green heart. When I'm talking to any of you, 
answer with a green heart so I see your message because I try to tune out everybody else while I'm doing that. I'm smoking broke, but I will sit and see. That doesn't mean I won't do anything for you, Chris, if you don't give up. Just because I said my subscribers get priority, that doesn't mean they're the only people that get anything tonight because there's one in here right now and there's 81 of you. So only one subscriber. All right, so you want me to help you find the money. Okay, can you give me your dad's first name, please? Because he can help us find it too. That would be appreciated. Oh, my hair's all... Jim. Okay. So, Jim, you lo he lost money. Um, so, you said he buried it and he unburied it. Do you know anything about, else about it? Was it buried in a jar? Was it in a coffee can? Was it in several places? Oh, thank you, Wisely, your sweetheart. Um, any of that kind of stuff? Can you give me just a little bit more? He was going to tell us and he died. Okay. What do you know? Like, do you know where he had it? what it was in or anything at all, the amount, anything you know about it would be really helpful to me. If you know nothing, then I'm just going to have to go with that. He said it was in a fire safe place. We think a metal box. That would make sense. Okay. So probably fire safe. All right. So it couldn't be in anything wood. It was probably buried, I'm guessing, but I'm going to go ahead and tune into him. What I want you to say to yourself now. Yeah. Freezers are good too. And I actually have found it was buried in the pole barn. Okay. I have actually found uh, money in a freezer I bought one time. I found eight, no, it was $900 in a freezer I bought in a state sale. Yeah. They wouldn't let me clean the freezer. I'll never forget this. They wouldn't let me clean it out. And they said, no, if you take the fridge, you have to take everything in there. And I was like, really? I got to move the fridge with food in it? But I was like, fine, whatever. Because it was like such a smoking deal. My, fr my fridge had just broken. It was only like 25 bucks for the fridge. I get it home. I start cleaning it out. And I'm in the freezer. And I pick up this box that looked like a TV dinner or something. And it felt really empty. And I thought, why would they put an empty box back in the freezer? I look inside. There's cash in there. So I start going through the whole fridge and freezer. And I found $900. So there you go. But he dug it up. He was going to put it in the freezer. Can't make this up. Okay, gotcha. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and focus on it. So he dug it up. We know it's not in the barn anymore. Okay. And he was going to put it in the freezer. Why didn't he, I wonder? That sounds strange. She says, I found 1700 in my grandma's freezer containers for jam. Dad said, take one, take it all. <laughs> okay, we're good. All right, I'm going to close my eyes now. I'm going to go ahead and focus in. What I want you to say is, I think I can find it. I know I can find it. I'm finding it right now. All right, say those three things. I think I can find it. I know I can find it. I'm finding it right now. And then I want you to imagine the, what it is, the money. You know, I, I don't know if it's, I'm assuming cash, coins and cash. So here we go. It's for Jackie. Where did dad put that money? All right, first of all, um, whatever he had it in, I feel like he moved it into something else. It was in, like you said, something more solid. And I feel like it got put into something not solid, like a, like a bag like, or something glass or something. I feel like it was glass, to be honest with you. Um, it, I know I'm freezing. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I feel like it was originally in glass. I know you said you thought a metal, metal, bo metal box. I don't think so. I think it was like in mason jars, honestly. But I don't think that's where it is now. I think he took it out of the glass and he put it in, I think, a sack. That's what I'm saying. A drawstring bag is what I feel. So the problem is if you're looking for a solid metal box or you're looking for a glass jar, you're probably not going to find it. He put it in something else. And I think he put it somewhere really dumb. All right? Like put it somewhere where like everybody would probably think it is and then forgot to move it, like you said. So when I say dumb, like something dumb, like like under, the, under his mattress. Like really dumb. Like under the mattress in the back of a sock drawer or underwear drawer, you know, a place where most people stash stuff, you know, and like think, eh, you know, put it away later. Uh, possibly in a cookie jar, but it's, I feel like it's in a cloth bag. Okay. So that's my clue for you. Let me know when you find it. What I ask of you guys, I don't charge you for this, but what I ask is you post a video somewhere on social media and you let me know that you posted a testimony saying thank you molly you found my item even if you just write me a letter that i can post that would be great that's how you pay me that's the that's the exchange of energy it's good karma see how i guilt you into that oh boy that sure sounds like him yeah you're gonna find it the other thing i'm going to tell you is sometimes you're not going to find exactly where i said so if you go to look under the bed it may not be under the bed it may be you go to look under the bed and as you go towards the bed you look a different way and all of a sudden there it is I'd even look, you said it's in a fire safe place. I have a weird question. Did he have a fireplace?
And if so, did he use it? Did he use it? Look in the fireplace. Look near the fireplace. Look up in the fireplace. Maybe that was his clue when he said a fire safe place. Yeah, check in the where the flu is and all that stuff. Okay? Alright. That's all I got for you today. That's that's the that's what inspired me, those things I told you. So run with it. Let me know, Jackie. Alright, guys. Now, now. Yes, let me know. I think I'm gonna go ahead and jump into some mediumship. I haven't done some in a while. It's been a, probably a couple weeks. Mediumship. Now, what mediumship is, in case some of you aren't aware, that means that I will channel energies from loved ones and give you messages from them. That's different than psychic. It's different. Uh, hi, Tybee. Hey, Jerry. So it's kind of, people love this. Now, the thing is, there's one me, and I can only do so much in one night. So please be patient, you guys. Now, if I'm talking to you, please put up a green heart. That's all I need so I know that you're listening, and I'm only paying attention to you. All right? So, um, I know a lot of you would like, he died 1985 Father's Day. Susie, I missed your first part. Let me roll back a tad here. I don't have a moderator right now, so you guys are going to have to bear with me. Susie, I don't think I see your other message. So, it very well could have been blocked or filtered because you might have used some, some keywords that they don't let you use. All right, so um, if you could please ask me the question again, I would appreciate that, Susie. I'm working with Susie right now. Can't send gold gifts, says you need to refresh. I don't know anything about that, Chrissy. <laughs> I don't know anything about that, Chrissy. But thank you. I need to refresh. I don't even know what that means. I don't pay attention to all those little prizes and all that stuff. The only thing I notice is you guys liking. I notice when you guys share it. I notice when you guys follow me. And I notice when you guys subscribe. But everything else, I really don't notice. Honestly, I don't, I'm like, uh, I don't care. I don't have time for it. Anyway, um, okay. So Amy, uh, or not Amy, excuse me, Susie, if you're still here, sweetie, um, could you please tell me more about what you started to say? You said he died just before Father's Day. Hey, flying. He hid something and I need to find it. Okay, Susie, what it, what is that? So you want a foley. You want a finder of lost items. Got you excited? Well, good, Amy. I'm not, I'll, I'll read you next, Amy. No problem. You're next. Okay, again, as I said, though, if you're a subscriber, you get priority. All right, so Susie. Where are you? There you go. He hid something. I need to find. What is it? Okay, so when you're telling me to find you something, you need to tell me who it belonged to or who gave it to you. Paper and badge. Okay. You got to give me more than that. Let me tell you this. If I came over to your house to help you find that, are you just going to say, oh, it's a paper and a badge? Or are you going to say, the paper is a blah, 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 and it has this, and it looks like this. The badge looks like this. It's a police badge, and it has this number on it, or it's silver, or whatever. You know what I mean? You got to give me more than that, you guys. You can't just say, I lost a bracelet. I'm wearing a bracelet, right? You're wearing a bracelet. All right, so Harvey is his name. Was Harvey, I'm sorry, was Harvey your father, you said? Pen. It's a pen. Pen radiation badge. What's a pen radiation badge? I don't know what that is. You got, again, I got to be able to visualize it, Susie. Work with me, honey. I'm not trying to be rude. I just have to be able to see it in my mind. If I can't, I can't help you. A DD11. So that's the paperwork. And a World War II pen radiation badge. Okay, so I'm going to assume that the paperwork is military and the radiation badge is also military to check uh, his exposure. So you lost those two things. It's two things, right? He was on a ship. Gotcha. He was Navy. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's all I need. Don't, I don't want you to tell me too much. Okay. Cause I don't want you to give away anything. All right, so you're missing the paper and his badge that would tell them how much radiation he's been exposed to. So he was on a nuclear submarine or something like that probably, huh? 5660. Oh, okay. Gotcha. 56 to 60. Okay, the years. Gotcha. All right. 
Here we go. While I'm doing this, I want you to also focus in on the items and think to yourself, I can find it. I will find it. I'm finding it right now. Please. That helps me. Radiation was in their war issued watches. Gotcha. Okay. The badge and paper for Harvey, please. And yes, I'm on a boat. That's why I'm rocking around. That's the slapping noise in the background is the waves. Paperwork and the badge. Now the paperwork looks like it got um, exposed to moisture. I'm gonna start out by telling you that. It's a little bit uh, crinkly. It's like crispy, you know? The radiation badge, I feel like it was being displayed Disposal, let's see, okay. I feel like it was being displayed somewhere, like in a shadow box or some type of a frame, and all that happened is it fell inside the box or the frame. So I know you're probably going, I don't know what you're talking about, but that's what I saw. It was like, uh, you know, like one of those shadow boxes that people would display things like their flag or their badges or whatever, and I feel like it actually just fell down inside there. So I would look for things that are framed uh, especially shadow box type frames or frames that have memorabilia in them. He may have put it in a frame. That's the other thing I might say to you, uh, in, in some of his stuff, if you have a footlocker or some of his items from when he, he was in the military, uh, I would make sure to look to see if anything is framed. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm tuning into the badge or the paperwork or both. I'm not sure right now. I'm just giving you what I'm seeing. Um, uh, I also have an image of a pocket, an inside coat pocket. Um, so if you still have any of his military gear, I would also check inside pockets. So again, I'm not sure which one I'm referring to as far as whether it's the paperwork or the badge, but um, do I have his tags or watch? Or you're asking that? Oh, oh, you found his gear. Okay, well anyways, that's what I got for you. Let me know when you find it. Again, I will find it. I can find it. I know I'll find it. I will, I will, I'm, and I'm finding it right now. I'm sorry. I know I can find it. I can find it. I know I can find it. I'm finding it right now. Excuse me. Her, oh, you're asking her. Okay, cool. You're welcome, Susie. And so if you find it, please, first of all, let me know. Second of all, if you would do a testimony, that would be huge to me. If you don't want to do a film testimony, you can write me a testimony and I'll share it with everybody. But that helps pay me, right? Because I can use that as advertisement and then I don't have to pay for advertisement, right? Cool. All right. Amy was next. I see you, Amy. I didn't forget about you. So Amy, are we looking for an item or would you like me to reach out to a loved one for you? Thank you, Heather. I'm glad you're here. Now, if I'm reaching out to a loved one, what I need to know is who they are, their name and how they relate to you. Okay. Your mother, what is your mother's first name? Only first names. You guys be very careful about what you post here. Let me, let me just say this to you. You could talk to your dad blind. You could. Um, hi, Kathy. Okay. Okay. Kathy is your mother. Okay. What I was going to say is be careful about what information you put up here. You guys, first names, last names, those kind of things, because like, for example, mother's maiden name. Sometimes that has to do with passwords. Be very careful. You guys. Okay. All right. So again, if you're a subscriber and I notice you and you ask me for something, you are going to get priority. It's only six bucks, you guys. So if you're dying to be read tonight, subscribe. It's six dollars. I charge 111 just for a basic tarot. I charge 222 for mediumship. You guys are getting it free tonight or six dollars. See, G doors is smart. G doors is next after Amy. Okay. Now it doesn't guarantee I'm going to read everybody tonight because there's one me, but. If you're a subscriber and you catch me on a live, if I didn't get to do it this time, I will do it the next time. Follow me, you should be informed when I'm on. So there we go. Back to Amy though. Amy's mother, Katie. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and close my eyes. I'm gonna focus. I want you to do the same thing with me, Katie, okay? I mean, Amy, while I'm tuning into Katie. Here's what you do. You're gonna breathe in, and you guys can all do this with me. You breathe in, oh, Kathy, excuse me. Kathy, 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 Kathy. You're gonna breathe in through your nose. You're going to hold that breath for about four seconds. 
And when you breathe out through your mouth, you're gonna see in your mind the number three, three times. You're also gonna say three in your mind, three times. So as you breathe out, three. You can do the same thing now with the number two. Breathe in through your nose. Hold it. Breathe out through your mouth, the number two. Three times. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth, the number one, three times. Now, that exercise you can do anytime you're trying to focus, calm down, ground, anything. It's very helpful. It brings your energy down to a different level. It puts you in the alpha wave state. Now, I might look the same as I did a few minutes ago, but I feel different. Now I'm tuning in. All right. So, Kathy. Kathy, Amy's mother, I'm here to speak with you and to convey any messages you'd like me to give to Amy, spirits, ancestors, guides, and energies, and my guides as well. Anybody coming through for Amy? Now, Amy, I just want to tell you, sometimes somebody else might come through. I don't know who's going to come through. Now, you can only validate who I'm talking about. As I talk to you and you talk back to me, Amy, please use a green heart in your comments so I see them. I will not be paying attention to anybody else's messages but yours right now. Okay? All right. Kathy, if you're here to speak with Amy, she would love to hear any evidence that it is you, anything that is very specific that I could not possibly know. I would appreciate it, please. Okay, right away I saw something very odd. Like a flash, like I had to catch it really quick. This is really weird. It looked like a golf club cover. Hi, Tina. I saw you subscribe, honey. I'm writing your name down. Look at the golf club cover. Very strange. And it was kind of a funny one. Like, not a regular one. Like, it was... Something about it was funny. I don't know what. Like, it was... You're going, hmm. don't worry about it. Here's the also thing I want to say to you. Just because right now you're going, I don't know what you're talking about, doesn't mean it doesn't mean anything. Make sure you either jot notes down or go back and watch this later when I upload it to YouTube. You guys, by the way, subscribe to YouTube too. Miss Molly knows. Um, because sometimes you're excited and you can't, you know, your mind's not working well when I'm telling you these things and you don't think of it at the moment. But later on you go, oh, I know what that was. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing is things come to me in ways that are familiar to me. Okay, so just because I see a golf club cover, it may not be that. It might be something like that, that looks like that, maybe a sock or something. But to me, that's what I saw. All right, the third thing is um, sometimes they will actually what I call a network mediumship. And they're going to come through in a way that they're actually reaching out to somebody you know or they know through you. So maybe your sister or your aunt or whatever. So just know all these things. I can't control what comes into, into me. I only can share it with you. So back to what we were doing and breathing in. I got a little off track there. All right, Kathy for Amy. All right, now I don't get a sense Kathy was very old, first off. I feel a very uh, kind of youthful energy from her. Uh, and it feels like she just gave me an image of a carpet pulled out from under her feet. Like, I don't know if that's to say I wasn't expecting this or I thought I would beat this. I'm not sure, but it looked like someone pulling like the carpet out from under their feet. So it feels like to me, she's expressing that it wasn't real. It was a little too soon. Maybe felt a little too soon to go. That's the first thing I got from her. Younger, yes. We knew, but too too soon. No. Mm -hmm. I heard the name Norman. Again, if you don't know who it is, do not worry. I'm writing it down real quick. feel this is funny I almost feel like like she was preparing for this my son's last name your son's last name is Norman really so this is definitely your mom I don't get names that often okay wow <laughs> yay 
That makes me so happy. Okay, I'm sure you're thrilled. Ooh, I got chills. All right, so so Norman's your son's last name. Okay, so what I was about to tell you was this. And, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but what it feels like is she knew this was whatever happened. Like she was ill, I guess. Um, I don't, I can't tell what kind of illness, except for I feel a very funny, like, tightening in my throat, like it's hard to swallow. I'm starting out by saying that. But what I feel like was she almost knew this was going to happen. I don't know if it was a premonition or she already knew she was ill. Uh, but I feel like, um, like she was almost like, all right, let's just get this started. Let's just get this over with. Let's just get this started because I want to move on with my life. Like she was convinced it wasn't going to be over. That's why I think that pulling of the rug from out from under her. Does that resonate for you? Because that's what I feel like she's telling me is like, it was like, she was ready to fight this shit. She was like, Ugh! you know, like that. And, and it was way worse than she thought. Yeah. She says yes. Okay. Um, Kathy, can you tell us why you brought up her son with the last name Norman? some reason she thinks it's really important definitely you say cool she thinks it's really important that your son know she a hundred percent accepts him exactly how he is and loves him very much why is that so important i don't know i don't know if your son feels like he disappointed her in some way by who he is by his identity i don't know but that's kind of the jive I'm getting is she wants him to make sure he knows that she's very proud of him and she does love him. And she absolutely just hundred percent, just cheering for him all the time. All right. Can you please tell him that he was six months old when she passes? He's 10 now. Okay. So maybe he's wondering because he doesn't remember her or maybe he even was able to communicate with her when she died, but she just wants to make sure he really knows that she's proud of him and that she loves him. Okay. All right. Anything else uh, for um, Amy today, please, Kathy. Uh, he misses her even though he didn't really know her. Yeah. I feel like he's communicated with her before. I'll be honest with you. And he may not tell you that. Maybe he's not comfortable. If you can open that conversation in a way, you can say like, hey, sweetheart, I just wanted to know, do you ever feel like maybe grandma might be around you? You know, and how do you feel? And if he says, yeah, say, you know, how do you feel about it? Does she ever communicate with you? Like in signs? Like, do you ever feel like she's around? And, so, and if he goes, oh, that's weird, then you can stop talking about it. But he probably will let you know. I feel like they already communicate. Like she's come to dreams when he was younger. Maybe she visited him and he saw her, but didn't, didn't know who she was. Yeah, there's definitely something there important, okay? Um, and there was something I was just about to tell you, and it just went right out of my head, but I'm going to come right back to it. Um, Kathy, what else were you telling me about? You wanted me to tell her something, uh, something directly to Amy. What was that again? I don't know why I saw this. Um, the, I always say that. <laughs> uh, she very specifically showed me, and I'm kind of sketching it, what looks to me like a jelly jar. All right? It looks like a jelly jar. Now, jelly jars don't really exist much anymore, um, but it, it, basically a glass jar with a metal lid, um, and there's some, and, and it has like a, sort of like a pattern, like it's textured glass, like little diamonds, I want to say, not diamonds, but you know what I mean? Like it's got like a texture to it. Don't know what that's about. And again, if you don't know, don't worry about it. It will, it will make sense at some point. But there's some reason she's pointing out this jelly jar with this sort of like diamondish pattern on it. And the diamonds are, the glass is sort of like a pressed glass, like a raised glass. It's not like it's etched on there. Your grandmother's. So you know what I'm talking about. Your grandmother's jelly jar. Excellent. Okay. It's going pretty well, isn't it? <laughs> well, your mom's coming through strong. Just like she was in real life. She's no bullshit. Like, she's like, the minute we started doing this, she was already bugging me. I'm, I'm going to tell you honestly. She was already going, uh, my daughter Amy, because I think I even said your name by accident at one point. She was like kind of poking me a little bit. So I didn't know which Amy, because there's more than one Amy in here, obviously. But I knew she was going to come through. So... I picked you in the right way. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I love it. All right, uh, Kathy, I have to go. There's other people I need to help tonight, but I want you to know that you can still communicate with your daughter. She's going to be looking for the signs. Show her 1111. Okay? Start looking for 1111. You'll start seeing it now. That's your mom. And when you see it, say, I see that, mom. 
And then you can tell her like, hey, mom, I'd like to see a butterfly today. I'd like to see a hummingbird today. I'd like to see a red car with the number eight on it. You know, uh, whatever. You'll be able to start communicating that way. And then you'll actually be able to talk to her. Anybody else watching? I'm talking to all you too. You get 11, 11 all the time. It means you're on the right path. And you are. Absolutely. Amy, you must have tuned in really well because that came from real clear, Derek. So good job. Good on you. Yay! If you want to do a testimonial for me, I wouldn't have a problem with that. You told my husband I see every single 11, 11. I knew that. I knew that. I could have picked any numbers, right? And did you know that that only happens on the clock 1% of the day where you see numbers that are repeating like that or even sequential numbers? 1% of the times during the day. So if you see that and you go, oh, I see it all the time. There's a reason. Those numbers mean something. You had chills the entire time. That's wonderful. I did too. Good job. All right. Now, we had some new subscribers who also, I think, wanted some help. We got G Dunes. G Dunes. Julesabel. Julesabel, you're a subscriber, aren't you? You don't have to pay. Um, I will work with you tonight, but I got a couple people right in front of you. Okay, sweetie? Manifest says, I see 222 two, two daily and say an affirmation out loud. I do too. Amy says she's seen him for three weeks straight. See, she was coming through to me. She's telling me that is absolutely your mom. That is, I mean, I wouldn't deny that's my mom. I gave you a name. I gave you very specific information about a jelly jar. That's what evidential mediumship is, you guys. A lot of you ask, what is evidential mediumship? I gave you evidence that was her by a name, by an object, by something I know that I couldn't possibly know unless spirit was coming through to me or some type of energy was telling me that information. Right? There you go. Perfect. Yeah, I'm so stoked for her. Isn't that cool? I love you guys supporting each other. That makes me so happy. All right. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you'll get a reading. Cheryl. Okay, Cheryl, you're G-Doors. Gotcha. Cheryl. Okay, Cheryl, um, tonight you have a choice. You can have a card pull, since you're a new subscriber. You can have a lost item found, or we can do some mediumship. Any of those are okay. But you need to let me know and give me a green heart as you're answering me like you're doing right now. Perfect. Oh, thanks, Kay, your sweetheart. Yes, Miranda, I'm glad you caught me. Yeah, Birdie, you can you can go on the list. But you got, you're towards the bottom, dear. There's a lot of other people going on. And new subscribers get priority, so... Mediumship. I'm on the mediumship. If you hadn't noticed, I'm on a boat. This is the mediumship, by the way. <laughs> yeah. It's a catamaran. That's why you're like slapping in the background. So waves. Yeah. All right. So Cheryl, um, you subscribed? No, you did not, Sarah. You followed. Subscribing and following are two different things. Subscribing is $6. It would tell me you subscribed. Try again. Anyway, back to Cheryl. Cheryl, who are we reaching? What I need to know is who it is and how you know him. Bob, my boyfriend from high school. Wendy, my sister. Okay, my mom, Lois. Perfect. Okay, your mom, Lois. Perfect. Okay, would you please do that breathing with me, the three, two, one. I'd appreciate it. Right now, I'm working with G. Doors Cheryl, and she would like to hear from mom, Lois. So, I'm going to close my eyes. Uh, Lois, spirits, ancestors, guides, and energies. I'm here to have Lois, Cheryl's mom, come through. If you could give me information for Cheryl that she would know and nobody else, or no way for me to know, so she knows that it's you, that is really wonderful. Anybody else or anything else that wants to come through for Cheryl, I am open to hearing that information. All righty. Okay, um, I saw, this is very strange, what looked like iron bars. Iron bars. Now you are, Sarah. Perfect, darling. I got gotcha. you. I saw iron bars, and they look like iron bars that go over a window. All right, now I can't tell if that's symbolic or if that's something literal. Um, if it's symbolic, I would, I would interpret it as feeling trapped in some way. Now, I'm not saying she's trapped now, not at all, but felt stuck in some way. 
okay? So as I'm talking to you, feel free to answer me with a green heart. Hi, Miranda, see you, I see you. Okay, uh, moving on. So, and Leanne, I see you too. Okay, you guys, remember, I cannot guarantee I'll get to everybody tonight. This is very draining for me. If I don't get you tonight, I will get to you the next time, I promise. I'm writing your names down. All right, I will make sure you get a reading, so don't worry about it. I know you're excited. I am too. <laughs> and there's an Amanda, another Amanda. Okay, Amanda, I got you. Thank you for subscribing, y'all. Okay, she was in hospice before she passed. Okay, cool. Don't tell me too much. I'd rather not know. Thanks. All right. From you. Okay, Lois, Lois, Lois. For Lois, for sure. All right. I have a funny taste in my mouth. I want to say it's like port or sherry. It's a very kind of warm, sweet tasting wine. Again, can't always tell if it's symbolic or not. I don't know if she liked to drink sherry or sip sherry or wine. That was something she did or had a little cordial at the end of the night. Or I don't think it's alcoholism. I don't feel that. Okay, I don't. I don't know why I'm seeing that, but that's what I see. It's sort of like she, like I taste that kind of warm taste of wine. Um, oh, Manifest Lux says, my grandma's name was Sherry. She passed away in a hospital nursing home. I don't think it's a name. I think it's the actual drink. So if you're still here, Cheryl, could you give me a green heart? Say yes, no, don't know. It's fine if you don't. Don't worry about it. It doesn't make sense right now. A lot of times it'll make sense later. Okay. Um, so we got that. Is there a lag? Cheryl? You there, honey? No. Okay. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Could be a reason that that, that came in. Could be something I miss I don't I'm misinterpreting in the taste. Okay. So just don't sweat it. Let it go. Okay. I keep seeing a woman with very dark hair. Her hair is quite dark. It may not be your mom, I'm not for sure. Um, but the hair looks very dark, it's short. An older woman, uh, heavy set, um, kind of a long, longer face. Yes, yeah, she had black hair, okay. Um, and it feels like, towards the end, she wasn't very pleasant. A lot of barking. I know that's a strange term, but like, you know, bleh, bleh, you know, like that kind of thing, like barking. It wasn't really how she used to be. I don't know if there was some dementia involved or the medications or just because she was ill, she wasn't making a lot of sense, but there was a sort of bark, barkiness, a sort of like almost an angry, cranky kind of vibe that wasn't really how she was. And that's hard. That's hard to see. I mean, not that you had never seen her cranky before, but to that point, like she'd never been like barking at people and being rude and that kind of, it wasn't her style. And that's what was so t hard towards the end was seeing her like that. Yeah, I get it. And she knows that. And she said, thank you for being patient with her. Thank you for being patient with her. Um, yeah, she felt like, yeah, she didn't feel well, obviously. Um, and you know, animals are, they don't feel well. They hide, they snap, they growl. It's the same. We're animals, right? Um, but um, she wants you to know, though, uh, she is pointing out that um, even though she wasn't responding, she heard everything. She's kind of laughing because apparently <laughs> when you guys were talking about her, you weren't always saying nice things, but she thinks it's funny. Okay, she thinks it's funny. She says, I know what you guys said. She goes, I understand. She's all, it's totally okay. She's laughing. She's like cracking up about it. You guys didn't think she could hear you, but she <laughs> So why do you know that? <laughs> do you have sisters? Because I hear a lot of women. And I don't know if that's the people that were taking care of her, but I keep hearing a lot of women talking around her. Yes? Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of women around her. Do you have a lot of sisters and cousins and stuff? I don't know. Just a lot of girls. Young women. Feels like. Um, and older women. Weird. She's right here because I feel her pulling my hair. Um, she wants to give me a name. Um... Lois, can you give me, what is the name you're trying to give me, honey? Julie. 
Chris. Do either of those names resonate for you? She gave me Julie and Chris. A lot of yeses. I love it. We're on fire tonight. Hi, Erica. Welcome in. Is that Erica the medium? Hey, if that's you, you guys follow her. She's amazing. She's taught me a lot, too. <sighs> Says some comments for one sister, but a lot of family. Julie is my aunt, and so is Chris. Okay. I said, I thought maybe cousins or aunts. Okay. So Julie and Chris. So she's, she's acknowledging Julie and Chris. <laughs> that's cool. Very nice. Love it. Uh, so that's definitely your mom coming through. Wow. Manifest luck. You've got a lot of synchronicities here. That's trippy. Uh, it could be your, your guides coming through too. If they have that many overlaps, very, very possibly. Yeah. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, Lois, um, there are other people that are hoping to hear from their loved ones as well. I would love to continue. And if you ever want to continue these sessions, I can certainly do more mediumship privately, you guys. Okay, but this is how you get to know who I am and you know that I'm not full of crap. <laughs> I know I'm being snarky tonight, but I'm having fun. So uh, anyways, Lois, is there anything else? we got to close this out for Cheryl. She just showed me um, spanking your butt. I don't know that's something she do. She she's pot, give you a. My mom called it a potch. I don't, I've never heard anybody else call it this. That must be Yiddish for spank. But my mom would give me a potch on the tush all the time when I was a kid. She potched you. Does anybody else ever use that word potch? I'm gonna give you a potch instead of a spank. Anyway, I liked her. She has a good sense of humor about her dying. I know it sounds funny, but she thinks it's. She was just kind of like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> she's cool with it. She's okay. And she's definitely around, obviously. So, um, that's, that's what I have for you tonight. All right. Yeah, she always did. She was great. Yeah, I can tell. She was cool. You know what's so cool is these moms are coming in so strong. Could I locate a family member you lost track of? Um, I might be able to, but not right at the moment. I have a few people waiting, so uh, you're welcome. Okay, um, Tina. Tina's a new subscriber, therefore you get what you want tonight. Tina. Am I normally on the water? Yes, I live on my boat. Your husband, Ed. Okay. He's already coming through, by the way. I can already... Now, uh, I'm going to say this before I even go into my breathing. Um, did he cry a lot? Was he easy to cry? Was he one of those very soft, sweet, emotional people? Surprisingly. <laughs> I don't feel like normally people thought that about him, but he, I, I almost felt like crying. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Tina, when you're answering me, use a green heart so I know it's you. Okay? Because I try to focus only on your answers. Um, so... Yeah, Ed almost started crying the second I, I, I connected with you. It was like this emotion welled up in me. Like it felt like I wanted to cry. He's just so happy that you're reaching out to him. Okay? He says he's been trying to... I, I, don't, even have to go in, I don't even have to go into the zone. I'm already there. He says he's been trying to reach you. He's been, it's making my arm hair stand up. He says, I've been trying. I've been trying. I've been trying. He keeps saying this. I've been trying. I've been trying. I've been trying. Oh, thank God, he says. This is happy, by the way. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to hold it together. It's hard for me because he's coming through so strong. He says it's not what you think. He says it's not what you think. It's not what he thought. <clears throat> he is so full of elation because he says I remember who I am. This is very deep. I don't know exactly why he's saying what he's saying, but he wants you to hear this. He says, I remember who I am. And I wasn't that guy. Hmm. Wow. Um... Still here with me, Tina? Feel free to give me input as I'm talking to you. Put a green heart before your name. 
free answer. Yes. Okay. I'm glad you know what I'm saying. Um, I like his hands. He has very nice hands. They're very warm. I get hands on occasion. I'm not sure why. I feel like he talked a lot with his hands. He expressed a lot with his hands. He touched a lot with his hands. His hands are, I'm not saying he's handsy, don't get me wrong, but I feel like he's like me. They're constantly moving. So he wants me to tell you, it's not what you think. It's even better. And he says, we're all wrong about what happens. Not meaning me, meaning you, your family, I guess. That's how he's sort of looking at it. Um, do you have a daughter? He's showing me a young girl, long dark hair, looks straight. Um, you have any names for me? I heard Leslie. Raymond's asked. <laughs> the name Leslie resonate for you? And do you have a daughter with long dark hair? What do you mean what happened? No daughter. All right. He's showing me a young girl with long, dark, straight hair. All right. And I got the name Leslie. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it, okay? This is recorded. I will upload to YouTube. Watch it another time. Show it to family members, you guys. If stuff came up that you don't know what it is, don't worry about it. Someone else will know, or at some point it will make sense. Nieces. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have a niece named Leslie that has long dark hair? I don't know if they're connected or they're just separate, like the person and then the name. Not, I can't tell. Um... He's just showing, he's just showing her, okay, don't worry about them. Uh, he's showing the woman sitting on the floor with her legs crossed for some reason. No clue what that is. And again, it could be reference to somebody else that knows you. So just, like I said, don't worry about it. Don't be disappointed. You will get things sometimes that are like, what? You know, they're trying to come up with ways to communicate to, to many people sometimes. So moving on about Ed. Emotional Ed. I like him though. What a sweet guy. Uh, he also indicates that he could be very judgy to me, even though he was very kind. Um, but there was a judginess to him, and he, he apologizes for that. I don't know why. I think he feels bad about it. Like, maybe he feels like he made you feel bad. And he says, I'm sorry, I should never have judged you. All right? some singing as well really just belting it out and it's it's a male voice i don't know if he was the singer but it's like Wah! you know like really Wah! out there um really great voice and maybe he's just singing right now i don't know but there's something this male kind of booming beautiful voice um resonating you know i feel as ah uh, you know like almost not opera but almost to that extent um so i don't know if it's a like leading a choir. I don't know what that's all about, but uh, maybe that's what he's doing now. But I just wanted to bring that up because I'm hearing that. Still with me? All right. Ed, um, we're going to have to... We're going to have to end this whole thing right now because um, there are other people that would also hear, like to hear from their loved ones. Um, if there's anything you would also like me to tell Tina before we um, sign off here, um, or any other imagery or signs you want me to tell her about. All right, this is this is this is for Tina. Um, he shows me a cup of coffee. Just a cup of coffee. It may be a message that you won't understand right away. Don't worry about it. I think he's saying it 
cup of coffee in some situation, whether someone buys it for you or you buy it for somebody or you're having a cup of coffee, something is going to happen. It will be that moment. You just want you to know. And it's good. It's very good. All right. That was for Tina, and I hope a lot of that made sense to you. And if it did not, again, do not worry about it. Go ahead and rewatch this. It will be uploaded to YouTube. If any of you would like to have private readings with me, I am pretty booked up, but I have a few openings in the next few weeks. Um, you can go to my website, MissMollyKnows.com. I'm still working on it. Bear with me, but go ahead and contact me and let me know that you want a reading. You can also contact me through my email, MissMollyKnows at Yahoo.com. And I do answer my emails. I do. But don't go through here, you guys. It's too weird. It's too many scammers. Okay. My dad is Leslie, and he had two daughters with long, dark hair. That's weird. Oh, my God. He was a judge. It's very possible, Cheryl, your mom's still coming through. Tina, I apologize for that. Sometimes I can't tell. So it is very possible. Yeah. That sounds like it was bleeding through, dear. That's cool, though. I mean, it's still, your, it's still for you. So what she said was, this is the girl, lady I read before the last one. My dad is Leslie, and he had two daughters with long, dark hair. That's weird. And oh my God, he was a judge. Or he was judgmental. Okay. So there you go. It, it can happen, you know, and it does sound like that kind of bled through. And that might be why Tina was going, yeah, some of that doesn't make sense to me. But still, Tina, I still feel like that was for you. So don't discount it, Okay. Again, we've had some overlaps. There's another person on here that I was reading for that said, yeah, it sounds like they're family. So that can happen, guys. It does happen. I know it sounds weird, but it's it's not weird to me. Yeah. Oh, thanks, you guys, for all the gifts and, and all the likes and shares. And, yeah, share it if you guys like what you see here. Please tell people about me. Um, yeah, don't worry about it. It all works. It really does. Postcards. What about postcards? I'm not talking about all right, um, subscribers, I still have subscribers that are waiting for stuff right now. Uh, we've got Julesabelle. And Julesabelle, what I need is your real name and what you'd like me to do for you tonight. I can do mediumship, I can do cards, or I can do a lost item. Okay. She said, someone told me once they use language intentionally to resonate with multiple people. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right on that. I've had that happen. There are overlaps, just like there's overlaps in our lives, right? Julie is my name, and I want mediumship. Cool. It's funny because uh, today, Julie, uh, I was trying to find my friend whose name is Jules on Instagram. I couldn't. I want to send her something, and I couldn't remember her screen name. And for some reason, I typed Julesabelle. That wasn't right. <laughs> I figured it out. It was different. But I actually typed that today. I'm not making it up. <laughs> weird. Okay, but not not weird. All right, so let's move on. Um, and Julie, who would you like me to uh, to reach out to? It's what my grandfather called me. Is that who you'd like me to contact? Is your grandpa? And if so, I, what I need is their first name, whoever it is, their first name, and how they relate to you. My best friend Jody, my grandpa Joe, my you know whatever. You can see, everything's Joe. Jody, Joe. John, whatever. But I was hoping for his wife, Anne, my grandma. Okay. My middle name is Anne. That's beautiful. So so, so she was your, like, step-grandma. Or I think I had a guide show themselves in meditation. Right on. That's so cool. I'm sure you did. All right. So let's talk to Anne. Did you call her grandma or granny, granny or... Aunt grandma or grandma or Anne, like how did you address her? I don't know why that's important right now, but it is. Or was it Mima or Mimi or Mimi? You said it right after I said it! I said Mimi! And you just said Mimi! Ah! Shut up. Okay. <laughs> we'll go by Anne, but I'll say Mimi. That's funny. I just said that. God, what is going on? We're on fire tonight, y'all. Okay. So, Grandma, we need... Uh, uh, Julie's grandma Ann or Mimi to come through right now. I'm going to go ahead and breathe for just a moment. Obviously, you're already coming through, but 
doing the three, two, one. Okay, so Mimi, or also known as Grandma Ann, we'll call you Mimi tonight. Uh, we'd love to hear from you for Julie. I feel like I'm even talking like her. Did she have kind of a cute little voice? Like she wanted to talk like this? Like she was super cute like that? Because that's how I started to talk. Like, it was weird. Like, Yeah, make sure, you, yeah, thank you, Kay, for reminding her. Yeah, make sure you put your green hearts where you're else I won't see your answers. Because I really try to focus. Maybe, haha, a little twangy. Okay. Okay. She's real cute. Um, did she like flashy jewelry? Not flashy like diamonds and stuff, but like, you know, big beads and funky earrings and stuff. Because I kind of saw that for a second. She like, reminds me of my aunt Sue. I don't know if that's how she was. And if that's true. But that's what I, that's the vibe I got. Was she was kind of funky. Maybe, haha, a little twangy. She kind of funky. Anyway, um, her ears weren't pierced, so they were always big clip-ons. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm seeing, like you know, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I got I got the right person. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Mimi. Thank you for giving us that clue. All right, what else can we tell Julie so that she knows that it is indeed you? Or any messages you have for any loved ones? Any names? Any information? Memories? Okay, so she's got a sense of humor. Oh, boy. Um, I don't know where she's from, and, and this may just be my reference, but it feels like she has sort of like almost like a either Midwestern or Bronx accent. Like like she talked like that, not like that that strong, almost like I feel Midwest. Like, uh, she again, she reminds me of my Aunt Sue. Um, so instead of like saying my name would be Molly, it's not Nally. You know, like that sort of nasal. Like, did she talk... Did she, was she from the Midwest or, or like, that's kind of what I'm getting from her. Like, I almost even see her wearing like a, a poncho, like she was funky, like a poncho thing going on. Not, not hippie looking, but you know, like she would wear like a cape or a poncho, like sort of dramatic. We're from Southern New Jersey, which is weirdly distinct. Yes. Okay. And then she wore like wrap things, you know, and these kind of like dramatic looking capey things, which, you know, in the cold, yeah, everybody wears that stuff. But like, she just, I don't know, she had flair. It's the best way I can put it. She was, she had flair, right? I like this lady. She's cool. She had all these funny little jokes. Like, she could almost be a character on Saturday Night Live. You know what I mean? Like a Mike Myers character, like uh, Linda Linda Richman. You know, like, she just, uh, <laughs> you know, like, she'd say stuff like, you know, I kicked in the galumpus. Like, she'd make up words. <laughs> like, is that resonating for you? Because she's kind of, I think that's her. <laughs> Pretty sure it's Mimi. I'm just waiting for an answer. Yeah. <laughs> Like I kicked him in the Galumpus and then he took a Shadooby later on and stunk up the entire place, you know, kind of, you know, we've got like all these funny little words and weird little phrases, you know, like, uh, I hear her doing a lot of, huh, 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 like that was funny to her, like stuff entertained her, kind of a little wry sense of humor. Yeah. I can hear her. Ooh, she smells good. What perfume are you wearing there, Mimi? Oh, she just smells good. Did you, like, smell her on your clothes a lot? Like, after you hug her and stuff? Because she smells great. What is she wearing? You know some older women don't smell very good? She smells good. It's like this really ah, velvety, floral, vanilla. Meh. You didn't think she smelled good. That's funny. Well, maybe she didn't to you. I'm smelling her, so maybe she smells good to me. Or maybe it's just that feeling I get when I, I smell things that remind me of my grandma. I don't know. I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say. I mean, she didn't smell good. My grandma didn't smell good. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, don't worry about it. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe she used to. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Maybe she wants to smell good because she didn't before. I can't say. The 
this stuff just comes through and I just have to tell you. That's all. Maybe she's trying to smell good. Maybe that's part of it. Because, <laughs> man, it was strong for a second. I was like, yeah, oh. You know, I felt like someone just put, like, a sprayed something in here. Hey, you know what? Spirits have a sense of humor. They do. Just like they do in real life. So she could be being funny. You know? All right. Um, anything else, Mimi, for Julie that I can I can uh, tell her or any other family members or anybody other names? Uh, please let me know, and uh, I'll share the information with them because there's other people also waiting here from their loved ones. Thank you so much for being so gracious. She kind of did this. Yeah, no problem. Um, you just sprayed perfume, says Sarah. Well, you're coming up soon, so uh, we'll get to you in just a minute. Might have been you. Anything else, Mimi? This is interesting. Um, she shows me the spine of a book, and she sort of runs her hands down the spine like it's an important book to her. It's not a Bible. Um, she, I don't know, she just loved to read or, or, or something with books, um, or you, she had a book you like, but she, there was some reason she showed me just for a on this book and her sort of like lovingly looking at this book. I don't know what that is either. So you're only you'll, you would know, and if you don't, again, don't worry about it. You guys, this stuff will make sense. I promise you. At some point, it will. Yeah. So that was for Jules Bell. Jules Bell says, "I made my son a book of pictures of our family members and included her." Oh, that's that's wonderful. Okay, so that's what she's probably pointing. I love that. Oh, that makes me so. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. This is great. Wonderful. Thank you for thank you for letting me speak to your uh, mom tonight. She, or your grandma. She was lovely. And that was fun. All right, guys. I'm getting tired, so I'm going to just um, kind of finish up with the people who had already subscribed and had already asked. Um, but uh, we'll do this again for sure. So please hang in there, you guys. Don't leave just because you're not being read. Sometimes you may get messages. It does happen, as you can tell. Some messages do come through other people. That brought tears to my eyes. Beautiful. Oh, thank you, Birdie. I'm glad you feel that way. Me too. All right, Sarah, honey. Sarah, you're next, Miss Perfume there. <laughs> Maybe I did smell your perfume. It's very possible I've done that. I've, I've picked up stuff through the, through the live. It happens. That might have been where it was confusing. Um, anyway, Sarah, uh, what are we doing tonight for you, honey? And green heart before you answer me, so I see it. Hi, Hannah. You guys, follow Hannah. She makes the cutest shit, man. She makes... <laughs> I shouldn't say shit. It's not shit. It's fabulous. It's these witch hats. They're so great. She crochets them. You guys are beautiful. And she makes, like, cool bags. And I have one, but I, I can't get to it right now. Lisa, please just read my question. Um, hold on, honey. Uh, mediumship, please. My son. Okay, honey. And uh, what's your son's name, please? Just first name. Do you have a relative named Jen? Cass. Oh, I love that name. Cass. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry about your son. <clears throat> now, when this starts happening, there's absolutely the rest of this we're about to come through. I only clear my throat is someone is trying to come through. So definitely he's trying to come through. Sorry, I'm talking really fast. I need to slow down. Sorry. It's kind of when this happens, like my energy starts kind of ramping. That's why I get tired real fast. I've, let me describe to you what's happening right now. My energy is ramping right now because I'm trying to meet his frequency. And so I start talking very fast. So I apologize. I'll make sure I speak slower. All right, Cass. Okay. Uh, spirits, ancestors, guides, and energies. I am here with Sarah, who would like to hear from her son, Cass. Um, Cass, if you would please come through and let Sarah know it's you, whatever way you can. Whatever is um, something that she will recognize as being a part of who you are. Right away, I saw a Pokemon, that little yellow guy, the Pokemon, and I know nothing about Pokemon. I, I didn't do that with kids and all that, so I don't know. But I saw a yellow Pokemon, and this has nothing to do with whatever age he is, by the way, or was when he passed. It doesn't matter. He shows me a yellow Pokemon. I mean, you know, for whatever reason. Right away. Okay. 
Pikachu? Is that? Oh, it is. It's Pikachu. Excuse me. Yes, that's Pikachu. Yes, he was very much into Pokemon. Okay, I got it all wrong. See, I told you. I don't know what I'm talking about. Pikachu. Okay, so it was who? Okay, it is him. Cool. So he came through with Pikachu right away. So he knew you would know that. That's validation right there. How would I know that I could pick anything, right? It's that one. You know, it's funny. I've had that a lot of times. Um, the little Pikachu guy. And I always make it wrong somehow. <laughs> but you know what I was saying. Cool. All right, so that's definitely him. All right, cast. Also, I wanted to just show you something that he showed me for a split second was hands rubbing together like this. I can't tell. Yes, very substantial. Cool. I can't tell if his hands were cold from poor circulation or if there was anxiety involved. But he shows me this, like this sort of nervousness. I don't know if he's warming his hands up from cold, bad circulation or if that's a nervous thing for him. Anxiety. I feel like it's anxiety. <coughs> yeah. He had a hard time talking about how he felt. That's why I'm doing that <coughs> thing, because he's really trying hard to express. And make sure you put a green heart so I see you, sweetie. Yes, he did that and bit his fingernails. Okay. Um, I get a sense, this is a very strange way to say this, and, and I hope that this makes sense to you. I know it will. Uh, I get a sense of sort of 90s grunge punkish feel. Because I when I see the hands, I almost see like like a sweatshirt with a thumb sticking through. And that sounds funny. Hi, Christy. I saw you, honey. You know what I mean? Like, like almost like maybe a flannel shirt with a thumb sticking through or something like that. Does that make sense? It was sort of a 90s thing. I mean, I have shirts like that, too. But I don't know if he put his thumb through the shirt or if that was like what he wore or so, or just an attitude. I can't tell. Not work. Yeah, they have them in workout sweaters. But back in the 90s, it was sort of a cool thing to like rip a hole in your shirt and kind of stick your thumb through or um, or shirts like that. Or some people just do it out of a bad habit, you know, stick their thumb through their shirt, pull on their neck on their shirt or whatever. But anyway, I saw that. Does that resonate? Seems pretty specific. That's why I'm bringing it up. Hey, Racy. I'm talking to Sarah right now, you guys. Big mediumship for Sarah. Still there, hon? Sarah. <laughs> Do you hear what I was talking about? The shirt? I don't know why it's important, but I'm, I brought it up. Grunge would be a style. Okay. Got it. <clears throat> okay, he's having a hard time talking, I'm going to tell you. He feels bad. He says he's sorry. He says, I... Uh, it's like he can't even talk about it. He's like, I'm so sorry. Like, he's super... There's some shame for some reason. I don't know that necessarily has anything to do with his death or not. I can't tell. He doesn't want to talk about that. He's not giving me that. I'm not going to bring it up. But um, he's basically... There's something he's very unhappy with himself that he did regarding you. Um, and he's just like, he, he can't, he's just can't express how sorry he is. That's all he's saying. He's just like, I, he can't even verbalize. Can't say it. Now, um, he does show me a guitar. And I can't tell if it's an aquarium or a terrarium with a black, it has like a black light top on it. I don't know if that's part of the bedroom he had. Um, or he had reptiles, or he had fish, or I don't know, but there was something in his room, and then he shows me a guitar. Um, I want to say the guitar looks reddish, or a very warm tone of red looking. It's okay. It's okay, Grace. So, um, I don't know if it's just slow or if you're thinking, but, um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of close this out because again, you know, try not to, you don't know. Okay. It's all right. Don't worry about it. 
Um, I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go ahead and ask him if there's anything else he'd like to tell you. Um, again, don't worry if you didn't recognize certain things. This will be uploaded later to YouTube. Uh, let me know when it does make sense to you. If it, you know, like I said, if later on you're like, oh, whoa, I just realized. Uh, and be sure to rewatch it. Okay, maybe even show family members because sometimes they're trying to come through to somebody else who knows what I'm talking about. So don't let it discourage you, okay, if you don't know what I'm talking about because it's, it's definitely for you. All right. Okay, so anyways, Cass, um, <clears throat> Sarah wanted to know if there's anything else you want to show her or tell her so uh, she can um, feel some closure. This is a very interesting gesture from a son. Again, I don't know his age. I don't. Uh, I can't tell if he, you know, he said grunge, but I mean, he could be 10. I mean, I don't know how old he was. I feel like maybe late teens, early 20s. I'm not for sure, but that's kind of what it feels like to me. But what I feel is he actually is like, like puts his hands on your cheeks, like, you know, hold your face. And that's an unusual thing for a son to do with his mom. But I feel like he did that or does that. Like he would do that, like hold your face. And that's sort of his way of saying he loves you. And maybe even you feel once in a while, maybe a little pat on your face or something. But he says that sort of like, I don't know, that's very odd to me. I mean, I, I don't hold my mother's face. And that's, but maybe that's his way of sort of letting you know he he's, loves you. 17 when he passed. You'd be 19 now. Yeah, okay, that's, I kind of felt the right today. Yeah, yeah. Um, hi, Bucket. Um, so, yeah, so he is showing me that, like this sort of tenderness, okay, is what he's trying to show me. Whether he did that or not, I don't care. But there is a sense of tenderness, like he really, he really does look out for you. Yeah. Um, before he passed, he told me he didn't like when I grabbed his face like that. Ah! Ah, ah. Now he gets it. Now he gets it. Okay, so there is significance to that. I was thinking, why is he showing me that? Um, maybe that's what he's start. Okay, that makes sense. So he's saying he realized you were trying to be tender to him. Okay, good. He gets it. He gets it. So he, sh he couldn't verbalize it, but he showed me. Okay, good. Thank you. Good job. Good job, Cass. Perfect. He's doing fine, by the way. He, he, whoa, what was that? Was that the dinghy? It felt like something hit us. Sorry for that. Um, <clears throat> he, um, wow, he has some eyelashes on him. Wow, that's been bothering me, really. Oh, gosh, he has some eyelashes on him. <laughs> Dang. Um, I don't know why he shows me that either. Maybe that was the thing. But um, anyway, he's doing really well. That's all I can tell you. Very, yes, very long eyelashes. He's doing really well. Um, he's sort of like a, um, he's kind of showing me like the idea that he's sort of like a camp counselor. I don't know how to explain it. Like he helps other teenagers right now where he is. It's not earth, by the way. I don't know where he is, but wherever he is, whether it be, you know, another dimension, which is kind of where I feel he is right now. He's still kind of in the ether, to speak, so to speak. But he helps teenagers like him right now. He's a helper. That's amazing. No, it's, it's just him. There's nothing amazing. It's him. He, he told me. Just doesn't have the meat suit, but he's still, still around. Okay? All right. Thank you, Cass. All right, um, I can only do like like one more, you guys. I'm, I'm super burning out. Um, but I do have a list, okay? So I've got Miranda, you're next. Then I've got Leanne, and then I've got Christy and Amanda are all my new subscribers that I saw. That's who he's always been, I love that. And I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna, I, I wanna do Miranda's because I feel like I need to work with her. So true, thank you so much. No doubt that was my son. Yes, I love it. Um, okay, so I'm going to work with Miranda right now, and then I'm going to have to sign off, guys. I'm really getting tired. My son. Yes, I love it. Um, okay, so I'm going to work with Miranda right now, and then I'm going to have to sign off, guys. I'm really getting tired. I'm very hungry. It makes me very thirsty. It makes me very tired.
Okay, so I I can only do so much at night. So I know you guys understand. You would much rather have me when I'm fresh and give you a really good reading than when I'm starting to like fizzle out. Um, because you're not going to get as much from me. Now, Miranda, I do have enough energy left to work with you right now. I can tell when I'm getting to that point because I have trouble enunciating. So Miranda's next. She's a new subscriber. And as I said, I have Leanne, Christy, and Amanda on my list. Next time I am on, we will absolutely do your readings, okay? And if I don't catch you that time, the next time, okay? Just make sure you're following me so you catch me. Miranda's next. Miranda, who is it you would like to um, reach out to? I appreciate that. If you want a private reading from me, my website is MissMollyKnows.com. Or you can email me at MissMollyKnows at Yahoo.com. Either one is fine. That is the best way to reach me. I will not reach out to you, by the way, from here. My father-in-law, Rob. Well, that's cool. Okay. All right, Miranda, we're going to do our breathing exercise. Breathe in through your nose. Hold your breath for the count of three. When you breathe out, the number three, three times. Breathe in the number two. Breathe out the number two, three times. Breathe in the number one. Breathe out the number one, three times. Spirits, ancestors, guides, and energies, I am here to connect Miranda with her father-in-law, Rob, tonight. She'd love to hear from Rob. Rob, if you're able to come through to me or anybody else that would like to come through to Miranda, please feel free to do so. Um, well, first of all, Rob is very funny. He's funny. Kind of in a sneaky way. Like... Like, he says stuff, and, and then you realize it's funny later. Like, he didn't realize he was being funny. Like, I don't know. It's like he had kind of this sneaky sense of humor. I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, he had a very booming voice. He was, he was larger than life. He literally was a larger than life kind of guy. And, uh, boy, and his laugh was hilarious. Like, just hearing him laugh made you laugh. His laugh was hilarious. Because he ho-hoed, sort of. <laughs> you definitely knew he was in the room. Yeah. He ho-hoed, kind of. Like, whoa, whoa. Like, it was, yeah. He may have even played Santa at some point. Because I saw Santa for just a split second. I don't know if he ever dressed up as Santa for holidays or did the Santa thing or whatever. I don't know. But that's kind of what I picked up for a second. Sort of that vibe. But he did play He could have played Santa. I mean, yeah. I used to do Mrs. Claus. You know. Anyway, um, did I don't want to say that I don't want to? I'm not trying to be mean or rude or anything. Um, did he have an aneurysm? Because I got really funny pain that felt like it was moving around my head, or a stroke. Or brain injury. It's just something felt weird in my head suddenly. My head just felt, still does, feels weird. I don't think it's dementia, but I don't know. We will go with brain injury, self-inflicted. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, because it was on this side. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So it's funny because I was actually thinking about Robin Williams a lot today. You get what I'm saying? I know you do. Yeah, the right side of my head. It feels like here and then here and like I felt like it was moving through. Okay, I got it. Yeah, you do. Mm hmm. I'm sorry. That's rough. That's rough, because he is missed. He knows that. You know, it bothers him, and I've heard this before. It bothers him that he's being remembered for that, 
versus who he was. He didn't think there would be such a focus on how it happened. You know what I mean? He, he felt he was, this is weird. He felt like he was leaving on a good note. Was he manic? Because that doesn't make a lot of sense. Almost like, hey, things were really good, so I figured it was a good time to leave. Is he manic? Or had some kind of a mental thing going on? Very manic. Oh, yeah. God. This mental illness stuff. Yeah, I want to grind my teeth while I'm talking to him. Settings. Yeah. He actually. Uh, he actually doesn't feel regret. I want you to know that he does not feel any regret. Except for the fact that everybody's focusing on so much negative about him. That bothers him. Because he says, I, there's always a lot of cool stuff about my life. I wish they would remember that. Why are they focusing on what happened? Why are, I don't care. Can they just remember the good stuff? Like, really? He's kind of pissed about it, honestly. <laughs> Which I don't get a lot of mad spirits. He's not mad like, ah, I don't want to haunt you. It's more like, this is disappointing. <laughs> It's like, I almost feel like you can hear him saying, this is disappointing. Well, not what I thought was going to happen. I don't know why he would think that, except for, like I said, he was manic. Like, he didn't really make a lot of sense sometimes. So. And he made a decision. That was it. So I understand. No regret. Yeah. And, oh, I hope I didn't lose you guys. I said I lost connection. So let me repeat what I just said. Um, when he made a decision, that was it. So I understand no regret. And I had said, he said, he's, a, he's totally okay with what happened. But what I was going to say is he said, you're, he says, my son needs to get checked. And he's telling me to tell you because he said that you've already tried to talk to his son. Okay. You've tried to talk to his son. <laughs> and he's not listening. So he's telling me to make sure he sees this. Got it? That's what I said. Got it? Like that. This guy kind of gives me a mafia vibe. <laughs> I don't know why. hope I'm wrong on that, but I, I mean, it doesn't matter. You understand that too. Yeah. I, he gives me like this mob vibe, like, you know, good guy vibe. <laughs> kind of like, yeah, I don't mess with this guy. I like him. I do. But he's no BS. All right. Okay, so, um, Rob, we're going to have to end this. I'm tired. <laughs> I know you want to say more. I know you do. Um, anything else in closing you want me to give to Miranda? He says, watch the booze. I know he's talking to you, but he says, watch the booze. Like that. The side eye. I did a lot of side eye. <laughs> And I don't know if that's directed to you or a son or somebody else or just a general thing he said at some point. It was a joke he made, but he doesn't watch the booze. Oh, no. oh. Excellent. All right, guys. I really appreciate y'all that hung in here tonight. It was exciting. I am so excited to see all this evidential mediumship coming through in a way that, you know, obviously we could not manufacture here. She says, I can relate to that too. He was a heavy drinking when he passed. Oh, damn. That's why I said that. Makes sense. You know what's funny is I can usually pick up an alcoholic vibe. I usually can pick that up, like, immediately. I didn't feel it. Um, but... Maybe, you know, it wasn't normal for him. I don't know. But but the heavy drinking, yeah. So that's what he said. Hey, you know, no, watch the booze or whatever. So there you go. I think he's just worried that his son is going to repeat the same pattern. I think that's his concern, which makes sense. Right? This was amazing. Thank you, Cassandra. Thank you, everybody, for hanging in there. He used it to mask the pain of his wife leaving him. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> it was great to moderate. Wait, what? Wait.
what did it say? It was weird to moderate spirit and energy work has been keeping me busy. I didn't even realize you were in here, Michelle. I was so into what I was doing. Thank you, dear. You said this can't be watched on YouTube. Yes, it can be watched on YouTube. Um, I will upload it uh, probably within the next 24 hours. Sometimes it takes a while because I'm on a boat and the upload doesn't work really quite fast. I love you, Michelle. You're so sweet. I will read for you next time, hon. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it's just... It takes me a day sometimes. So, but I do do it. I always put it up and I put the date on it and everything. So, and sometimes I'll post clips up from it too. But yeah. So again, in closing, first of all, I will not reach out to you for reading. So make sure if anybody ever acts like they're me, report them, block them, whatever. I don't do that. Secondly, go through my website or my email, MissMollyKnows.com or MissMollyKnows at Yahoo.com. All of it is my link tree. All of this information is there. All of my websites and so forth. All is on there. Website needs work. Just if you need to communicate with me, do your best having issues um last but not least know that you know because you do and fuck off thanks guys